Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, one of the very in-demand videos that you guys have requested is the Sukhoi 57 Felon versus the F-35 Lightning II, technically, or Fat Amy, whatever you want to call her. Uh, that's the fight we're going to be doing here today. Now the Sukhoi 57 we're using here today is a new build by Cuban Ace. If you want to check out his uh, Discord, that'll be linked in the video description below. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, somewhat equal, I think, in terms of, you know, missile capability. He's using the AMRAAM, I'm using the R-77-1. Uh, obviously we're using publicly available information for both of these aircraft, obviously very classified. Nobody's coming out and talking about the RCS of the Felon or the F-35, although I see an increasing number of people who seem to think that they know <laughs> the exact stealth capabilities of both of these aircraft. Uh, today I am supported by an S-300, S-400 site uh, on my side of the map, and the F-35 is going to be supported by a Patriot site on his side of the map. So it really comes down to how you're going to use these systems to help yourself out. As we know, the Russians are very dependent on their uh, integrated air defense systems and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And to be dependent on something is not a bad thing, by the way. It's how they have their little doctrine set up. That's how they want to fight. They want to fight within an air defense. That makes sense to me. NATO is a little bit more willing to venture outside of that if they need to. You know, it all comes down to aircraft capability at the end of the day, I guess. But like I said, we have the S-300 and he has the Patriot. An interesting topic of discussion here is also that the Russians say they can see stealth. They don't say that they can track stealth or get a fire solution on stealth, although I think that's what they're implying. And, you know, NATO obviously implies that their stealth is pretty good. Look at this. I got a little thing off in the distance here. The smallest little thing was way out there. I just locked it up, though. And I'm going to go ahead and assume that's the F-35 because it is an airborne target. Oh, there it is. He's hard locking me as well, looks like. And uh, I'm also being uh, watched by what appears to be two Patriot sites, according to the RWR. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and give him a Fox 3 here. We have launch authorization, so Fox 3. He shot at me too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start defending here. Some pretty good improvements to the Sukhoi 57's uh, avionics in this mod. Shout out to Q and Ace. Cranking here. Below the cover. I think I provided pretty decent guidance for that R-77. So we'll go ahead and go cold now since I lost the lock anyway. Alright, and we're going to have to turn back around and recommit. Uh, oh, missile is still back there. Okay, uh, missile is still chasing me. You can hear the, the tone, but there's no way it's going to hit me at this point. Uh, I'm also being... I was being painted there momentarily by my own S-300 site. It's over there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start climbing. I'll recommit here. He was pretty high too. He got much higher than I did in that last engagement.
he seems to be depending on his stealth. Oh, they just shot at me again. Uh, Patriot might have shot at me as well. He seems like he's depending a lot more on his stealth, so he's climbing a little higher. Uh, not expecting my S300 to shoot at him. I'm gonna see if I can change that in a moment here. There he is, got him on radar. And we're gonna go Fox 3. And we'll defend. Okay, we're going to start reducing altitude here. I think I'm getting a little bit too close to him, which is allowing his Patriots to open up on me. Uh, now, I'm not a big fan of fighting a stealth aircraft and his air defenses at the same time. So what I'm actually going to do is try to change the situation here. I'm going to try to make it the exact opposite. I'm going to start dragging him back. And in that direction there, that's my S-300. So I'm going to see if I can get him to come all the way back there and then my S-300 can cover me, and also when it fires missiles, it'll point me in the direction that he's at, which I think will be helpful. Now, this all really does also come down to situational awareness, right? If he realizes what's happening, I'm sure he's not going to voluntarily venture into my S-300 site to get shot at. Or, you know, he might not realize exactly how much of a stealth the S-300 can see or S-400 can see. So we're going to see how this plays out. I am dragging him towards the S-300 now. Should be off the nose any minute. Now I think this whole time I've been kind of flying perpendicular to him, so I imagine he's been searching for me. And I've been flying pretty uh, close to the ground, which according to Maverick, confuses their targeting systems. Although, <laughs> that might just be for Russian aircraft, I don't know. Uh, I'm not quite sure what he meant by that. Uh, F-35 should be over there somewhere. And I should be getting pretty close to the S-300, S-400 side. So if he's been following me, those things should open up on him any second now. There we go. Right on schedule. Alright, let's follow those missiles in. Standard operating procedure, I guess, to fire two missiles. I think the Patriots do that as well. Uh, just to increase the probability of kill. Although I'm sure you can imagine how that starts to get pretty expensive pretty quickly. Just the cost of modern warfare is absolutely insane, man. When you really think about it. The sheer financial cost of it is absolutely crazy. I don't see this F-35. Oh, am I being locked? He's locking me. I don't see him on radar. Oh, there he is. Got him. Yeah, got him, got him, got him. He turned away. Which means he probably shot at me. I'm gonna chase him just to see. Because if he did shoot at me, I can turn and run. He didn't. Nice. Okay, I took a risk there by not going cold. But it paid off. Got him locked again as he recommits here. I think he was still defending those S-300, S-400 missiles. Alright, uh, Fox 3. Alright, and we're off cold because he locked me as well. And he is hard locking me, by the way. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but that's probably just to... I don't know, maintain a better track on me. I assume holding lock on a stealth target is pretty difficult. Um, S-300, S-400, shooting at him once again, it looks like. So I actually have quite the advantage now. Because he is literally fighting inside of my S-300, S-400... Uh, cover, you know, engagement envelope, whatever you want to call it. And not only is he defending those missiles, those missiles are pointing him out to me, and I'm engaging him on top of those S-300, S-400 missiles. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm not leaving. <laughs> oh, here we go, got him. Got him right there, because he keeps coming back, so why would I leave? He keeps trying to engage me in this cover, so... 
good enough for me. Uh, I can't get him in range, he's turning away. I have no launch authorization. Worth noting that I have but one R77 remaining, so I really gotta make this one count. Uh, I do have archers, so we could go to the merge, but I would like to not do that. Go ahead and recommit here, I'm gonna have to get real close to him. Come on. Alright, I wonder, maybe I can do like the offset shot. I don't know how I'm going to play this. Because he's not going to keep closing in on me. Every time he tries to close me, the S300 shoots at him, S400 shoots at him. So it keeps pushing him off, so I can't like lure him any closer to me. So I think I'm just going to have to push him. And hope that if he shoots at me, the, the speed of the felon can help me outrun him. Right now, I got nothing on radar, which is making me nervous. Here we go, got him. Right here. Oh, there he is. Though he's close and he is hard locking me. I don't know how many Amrams he has left. Oh, he shot at me. Okay, I'm off again. Uh, I didn't get launch authorization again. I actually don't know what that was, if that was him or a Patriot site. Because I did kind of push out from my S300 site to go after him. Something shot at me, so I'm defending. And I'm going to try to quickly recommit and become offensive again. We're going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to push him. Just be super aggressive here. Let's see if it pays off. There he is, got him on radar. He's headed towards me, he's got me locked. Uh, actually he doesn't, that's the S300 lock cone that I'm in. The S300-400 is trying to lock him. Alright, let's get a little bit closer here. I don't think he sees me, Fox 3. And I am out of here, he was turning right towards me there, I don't know if you guys saw that. But right when I shot that is right when he pointed himself at me. And that missile should actually be hitting... Yeah, there we go. Splash 1F35. I think he just didn't see me until the last moment there. Tried to defend, but I was way too close. And the R-77 found him. It's a rough day to be Fat Amy. Alright, well, uh, I was definitely at a disadvantage there, but the S-300, S-400 kind of uh, turned the tide for me there, so...